welcome to Pet Lovers Paradise, a world of furry critters at their best. I'm your host, Priya, along with my furry friend, Maya. Say hello. And today we have a special guest with his rabbit, uh, Bill, and no name. Hi, I'm, I'm uh, Bill, and I have my rabbit here, no name. He's one year old, and I got him from somebody who's moving in a pink house. My previous rabbit, named Wizkid, lived 11 years, three months. Did a TV show, asked Bob the manager, um, held a flag in his mouth, which I sent to Ripley's Believe It or Not. And sadly, he did uh, one show um, at uh, Petco uh, before he passed away. And he did, win some, I, he did win some treats, believe it or not. There are various methods that are used to keep an animal alive a long time, and I have certain ones that I use. Mm -hmm. um, we have what we call tickle torture, where you're tickling the top and the bottom of the animal at the same time. Mm -hmm. Like this. And yoga, uh -huh. which is used on each part of the body, you simply say, I love you, I love you, I love you. Mm -hmm. And this is relaxes the animal. You must have a relaxed animal to be able to train an animal, keep an animal healthy, and keep it alive a long, long time. It's very important when you have an animal to pet the animal a lot. Mm -hmm. An animal can never get enough love. I pat my animals at least a hundred times a day. Mm -hmm. And I'm really ashamed because I know that other people mean well, but their animals are not getting that good as attention as mine is. So how long have you had um, No Name? Um, I believe I got him last Sunday. I've had him for a very short amount of time. Uh -huh. And uh, how did you end up getting No Name? Well, it's an interesting story. Um, girlfriend uh, overheard somebody in the doctor's office. They were giving a rabbit away. Mm -hmm. And she knows that uh, my rabbit lived 11 years, 3 months. So she gave my telephone number and they called me up. And where I had an animal for 11 years, mm -hmm. they gave it to me because they knew I knew something about taking care of them. I think you have a phone call. Let's see here. You want to make a call? Go ahead. Yeah. Now, another thing we do with, with him is put your head down. Put your head down. That's it. By constantly putting my hand on his forehead and tell him to put his head down, he knows he's going to get tickled. Mm -hmm. Now, um, I'm sure that he probably gets tickled more than Maya and more than many other animals. Mm -hmm. Okay, and that's part of a training program. He's a little bit nervous because um, he had to ride in the car. Mm -hmm. So every animal gets nervous when they ride in the car. Another thing rabbits like is this. If you ever had a rabbit, they like their ears mm -hmm. up and down. So you need to take and keep tickling Maya, and that will relax Maya, you see. Mm -hmm. Just like I said, if you tickle, see, under the, like this and under the neck at the same time. Of course, I mean, you hold, you, if you I'm had an extra, extra set of hands, you could uh -huh. do that, you know. Um, mm -hmm. But most of the time, you know, if you pick up a rabbit, they, um, they, they're going to take and uh, jump and get skittish. Mm -hmm. So you see that... Um, when you tickle the animal, I can hold him, right? And um, if you take and you tickle Maya around the neck like this, like I'm doing, mm -hmm. you should, you know, like, and you count about 50, you go like one, two, three, you know, in your mind, mm -hmm. that will relax Maya. If somehow you could tickle under the neck and under the chin at the same time, which I know you can't, yeah. um, that will relax Maya. And you want the animal to be relaxed all the time because that helps with the uh, blood pressure and everything like that too. You see how she's closing her eyes now? You see, mm -hmm. you see what I mean? Yeah. And she's not jumpy all over the place. Mm -hmm. And you see how her tail is going up. That means she's comfortable. See, mm -hmm. look at that. Wow. So have you had cats before? Yeah, I had that one cat that I was oh. telling you what happened. The kitten, the kitten was um, upset that I loved the rabbit more. It stopped eating and oh. it died. So this kitten, did you ever try um, feeding her through the tube as they do sometimes? Like, you know, when you can't feed them? Well, what happened was the kitten got depressed oh. because the kitten knew that I liked the rabbit more, which I did. Mm -hmm. It stopped eating. Mm. Died. So you see, I learned something. 
in my in my situation, mm -hmm. um, it's only one animal. With the exception, if I had a turtle, or if I had a frog, mm -hmm. you know, then it would be different because they can't see the small animals. You see. Mm -hmm. You know, it's unusual seeing a rabbit so calm. Look at this. I know. Usually I... they fight and they fidget. Look. Mm -hmm. I know what you mean. I used to have rabbits in high school, and whenever I held him, he used to start scratching and getting antsy. He was just so scared. He one of the smaller. advantages I have this with one. this animal is mm -hmm. um, kids played with him. I checked mm -hmm. out his background. He came from Pet Express, and all their animals come from breeders. Okay. So he's a healthy fellow. And another thing about rabbits is, I don't know if you know this, um, Priya, um, you're always checking the stools. If the stools are hard, your animal's okay. Mm -hmm. Once those stools get in soft, they get diarrhea and that's a problem. So you don't give them carrots and lettuce because that would give them diarrhea. Okay? Wow. I know it sounds, I know it sounds a little bit strange, okay. you know, but that's true, you know. And each animal's different. Sometimes they can't stand heat or cold, you know. Uh, my rabbit, um, whiz kid, was uh, chinchilla, so he could stand cold, mm -hmm. but the heat he couldn't take. And how about this one? How, how's he doing with the heat? Well, he's okay. Uh -huh. We'll find out. And is you this see, he's shaking a little bit nervous because he doesn't like to ride in the car. But you see, with an animal, mm -hmm. now if you tickle Maya, she won't be all over the place. Oh, Maya. Maya, come back here. Actually, She's saying, I don't want to be on TV. What the heck is this? Great. All right. So, um, what kind of rabbit is No Name? Um, no Name is what they call a lapia. Okay. Mm -hmm. And is that because of his ears? Yeah. See, they come over like ears. this. Lop ear means that uh -huh. they come over the face. Oh, okay. I believe he was born in January. Mm -hmm. So, um... Which January, like last January? Yes, because he's a year old. Wow. He's a very friendly rabbit. He eats a lot of food. Uh-huh. You hungry again? So you were saying that you can't feed them carrots or lettuce. You can, but I was told mm -hmm. by a vet that it gives them diarrhea, so I'm not going to do that. Uh -huh. You don't want soft stools on an animal. Right. Mm -hmm. Got to make sure the stools are hard. Mm -hmm. Well, you see his nose is going up and down because... Uh -huh. He is nervous being in this position. It's a n first time for him and me. Mm -hmm. But the thing about him is that him and I, um, we spend a lot of time together. Mm -hmm. See? Well, that's wonderful.